So I'm Sarah Price. I'm one of the museum's registrars. Our department is responsible for the movement and care of artwork that comes in and out of the museum. So for the Pete Souza exhibition, um, I work directly with Art to Art, the organizers of the exhibition, to make arrangements for shipping the work here to Kansas and for making any arrangements necessary for packing, helping with that as much as possible, and then um, looking at the artwork when it gets here. So the artwork came in with an art shipping company. There are companies that ship specifically things that need security, higher security, climate control, and specific needs, and artwork is one of those. So there, we had a company that brought the artwork here. And um, once we receive the artwork, it has to sit for about 24 hours to acclimate to our building's climate. Um, and after that point, we unpacked the artworks, and then we're responsible for looking at the condition of each piece. So every single object gets checked to make sure there's no damages, um, and that everything is safe and ready to hang up in the exhibition. And then um, we take that information and make records for each loan and keep that on file in case we need it for any reason. Once the exhibition is closed, then we'll reverse that process and check everything to make sure it still looks good and then pack it carefully and then make arrangements again with the company to ship it to the next venue that has the exhibition after we do. Hi, my name is Luke Debsey, and I'm an exhibition designer at the Beach Museum of Art, and I worked on Pete Souza's two presidents, one photographer. So my role with uh, Pete Souza's show it was to coordinate the creation of the layout for the exhibitions, the design of the layout, so that'd be how the objects are placed within the space, and the division of the space according to the checklist. And then all of the graphic design, so all of the exhibition text, all of the title graphics, I was in charge of putting all of that together. So I worked with a team of people, so Linda Duke, uh, Elizabeth Seaton, who's a curator, and Linda Duke's director, and Lindsay Smith, who's the uh, other exhibition designer, to develop the layout. We would meet after iterations and come to a final decision about all of the design aspects of the show. I took the checklist, which was three groups of objects. The beginning was the pairings, was seven pairings, and then two sections of 21 objects each. And I made a model of all of those objects in SketchUp, a 3D model. And once I had all those objects modeled, uh, I would work with the constraints of the space. So this is home gallery, and would work. I worked around the architectural features in the room, which were quite a few. We had some lighting issues. Um, also, there's an elevator entrance in the room and two entrance exits in the room that are pretty large. And we have movable walls that we can use. So I, with a combination of the movable walls, I, I used those resources uh, to split the space up as, as best as we could do. What worked out to be pretty natural for this show was to divide the space into three sections. And we put the pairings at the beginning to show those uh, comparisons of the two presidents. I think Pete's organization is a pretty unique and interesting way of presenting. We went through probably 10 iterations uh, of, of this design of the show, the layout of the show, um, and after many iterations uh, we refined it into something that displayed the narrative as we wanted it and I think as Pete wanted it so yeah. Hello I'm Lindsay Smith, exhibits designer here at the Beach Museum of Art. The exhibition we've recently worked on, Two Presidents, One Photographer by Pete Souza, has been a, a wonderful experience. So my role involved the fabrication, the installation, the preparation for that particular exhibition, and that is my main role here at the Beach Museum as far as my job. The, the parameters that we worked with with this exhibition involved the tidal wall, also set up of portable walls, which you'll see the configuration, which broke the exhibition up into sections, Barack Obama section, Ronald Reagan section, and also at the beginning there was a combination of both presidents that Pete Souza specifically asked for. So what we did was we prepped the gallery and then we brought in our 10-foot wall sections and set up that design. Then all the walls were painted, the photographs were brought in and laid out in a particular sequence. So with the hanging of the, the exhibition, once everything was laid out, uh, 
we measure from the floor basically up to 56 inches and we find the center line and nails or screws are printed to the wall then the objects were hung at all the same level. We decided to have in some cases a very small measurement between the objects, some four to six inches. And then in the first section where the things are grouped by Reagan and Obama together, uh, usually that had a little bit more space in between. So that really depends on how many objects you're putting together and how much linear feet you would have on the wall as to how much space you would use between the objects. All the label copy that Pete talked about was done in vinyl, and so that you'll see that on the title wall section. With the vinyl graphic that you see on the wall that goes from floor to ceiling, we had to use our scissor lift to do that, and Marvin Gould, who is in charge of our vinyl installation, and myself were on that lift, and we laid out everything. Everything was attached to the wall, and then things were touched up. So you'll see that we were on the lift quite quite high in the air. So that's always quite a challenge you know, for us to do that kind of part of the project. Um, we always use it when we're painting, uh, when we're installing the 10 foot wall sections, but usually we're not on that lift when we're doing the graphic like we did with this exhibition because it, uh, it was such a challenge. So, so the lighting is always done last. So once everything is installed, all the touch-ups are done, we, I will go back in and I will adjust all the lighting. We use uh, LED lights, 60 watt or 70 watt um, as far as the light levels. So that is always done last and I did have to use our scissor lift to get to the ceiling lights for that. And that's always quite a challenge, trying to get it even. We tried to flood everything at a very level, light level, approximately 20 foot candles probably for this show. So that should be pretty evident within the exhibition, exactly how things were focused for, for each object or for a set of objects within that wall section. I will say that this exhibition presented the usual challenges of making everything fit and look like it's supposed to be where it is actually installed. So it was very rewarding how that all came together at the beginning of the exhibition in the home gallery. Hi, my name is Liz Seaton and I'm a curator at the Beach Museum of Art. As coordinating curator, my job was to review the, the labels. Um, he included some really great anecdotes about each of his uh, photographs and what was happening in them and what he was trying to accomplish with them. And, um, and I've also been involved with helping to infer about the way we install the works. Um, he's, he has, he introduces the exhibition with pairings of the two presidents to make similar things. And then he has a separate areas for um, each president and even number of photographs. So I'm working with staff to coordinate that and then of course publicity, trying to communicate what the exhibition is about to the public. It's a nice balance of works that show the presidents in sort of uh, performing rituals like meeting constituencies and the dignitaries and in serious roles when they have to respond to crises or when they're sort of, that was sort of their political initiatives. And then the lighter moments, when they're with children and the first ladies, it's a really nice balance. And I think he's done a really nice job One of the points I think Pete Souza wanted to make was that, um, that these presidents were on uh, different positions in the political spectrum, but they both had respect for people of all walks of life, including members of the uh, opposition party, and they performed their roles as president with sort of dignity and respect. He admires, I think, both of these presidents a lot. One of my favorite pairings um, is uh, are these two images of the presidents and uh, first Lady here and then family and staff in, in what they call the family theater. Uh, this is an image of uh, Obama and staff looking at, I think, the Super Bowl commercial during the Super Bowl that required 3D glasses to get the full effect of. And Sousa humorously notes that uh, the president seems to have his glasses on backwards in this picture. This is a fun image of black and white of um, Reagan and Nancy. Uh, at being interviewed by Barbara Walters while they're watching a movie. And at this point, uh, Susan recalls that Nancy Reagan said, I can't see you over you, Pete. Yeah, so here's a pair of casual shots showing Ronald Reagan and Barack Obama playing golf. Uh, 
And this is, happens to be the Annenberg Retreat in California where world leaders and other thinkers meet. Uh, so that was uh, taking a little break at that moment. It's been described as the, uh, the Western Camp David. This is a really important photograph selected by Pete Souza because it's an image of Ronald Reagan and Mika Gorbachev meeting um, in Iceland, uh, discussing the idea of reducing the number of nuclear arms, um, bringing down the tensions of the arms race. And I remember as a high school student and college student still, uh, how kind of frightening it was, uh, this idea that we could be obliterated by a nuclear weapon and maybe even accidentally released. So this was significant and I think a relief to all of the world and it was a great accomplishment at least for men to reduce the missiles and reduce the tensions of the period. This is an example of one of those really serious moments in the presidency. This is Barack Obama and his cabinet gathered in the Situation Room to do the um, actions taken uh, in search of uh, Osama bin Laden, the effort to either capture or kill him. Um, and you can just see the seriousness on their faces. Um, it was a tense moment. And I remember when um, the president came out to announce to the public that uh, what happened, that, that bin Laden had been killed in action. I like this image a lot because it shows um, Nancy Reagan getting off a horse and Ron Reagan helping her. It's pretty comical. And I didn't realize, Pete Sousa tells us that um, the couple spent as much time at Camp David, which allowed them to ride horses as, as, they, as they could almost every weekend if they weren't engaged in some other activity. So that was news to me. I really like this image because it shows President Obama just being a dad. Um, his Sasha's, his daughter's uh, basketball team apparently needed a coach and Barack Obama volunteered. Um, and Sousa describes how serious he was about his coaching and that he treated it almost like it was an NBA final game. And you can see he notes Sasha's expression in this little um, meeting with the kids and she's not looking very happy. I find that pretty humorous. Hello, my name is Martha Scott. I am the Donor Relations Assistant here at the Mariana Kissler Beach Museum of Art. My role in this project has been to coordinate a lot of the details between our friends group, Pete Souza's agent, and with the museum staff. Our friends group, upon learning that we were unable to budget enough to bring Pete Souza to the museum to give a talk, they took it upon themselves to raise the funds to bring Pete to speak to Kansas State University and to make the event free. The first challenge was to find a location for Pete to speak at. He has very specific requirements and we ended up finding a space at McCain Auditorium and a date that time worked both for McCain Auditorium and for Pete. Once our friends group decided that they would take on the role and the task of getting donors, I aided them by helping to keep everything running smoothly. I helped them obtain names and addresses for co possible contacts. They would come and ask me if there were questions about how we were handling things here at the museum. I also helped our director, Linda, worked with Pete Sousa's agent to help coordinate his visit so that we have a specific itinerary and timeline as far as where he's going to be and the things that he's going to do while he is here. Our friends group put together a committee that was chaired by Barbara Gatewood and Ann DeNoble. The committee went out and solicited the funds to be able to bring Pete Sousa to Kansas State University. They also now are in the process of going around to the community and increasing awareness of his talk on March 5th. We are friends of um, the Beach Museum of Art and the three of us and our board have been very instrumental in promoting and supporting uh, Pete uh, Susie events here on campus. What we did is we developed a plan. First of all, uh, we developed um, a cover letter 
to send out to potential donors and our cover letter explained what we were trying to do, the importance of having Pete Souza come here and talk in conjunction with um, an exhibition. The Beach Museum developed a flyer that explained in detail what our goals were. And then the board and the planning committee, the Sousa Planning Committee, put together uh, a compilation of potential donors and we sent out, sent out the material to the potential donors. And then the different board members were asked to um, make follow-up contacts to the board members. And through that process then, uh, we were able to generate enough funds to support his visit and his talk. This endeavor would not be possible without uh, the close cooperation between the Friends of the Beach Museum of Art and the staff here. It has been a real pleasure working with uh, Linda Duke, the director, Martha Scott, um, Robin Longberg, and also uh, uh, Zui Matra, who has done a lot in terms of repairing the publicity uh, materials that have been used for this event.